Welcome fellow Fusioners, Character King here with a video of the Scourge of the Fusion decks in the rank ladder, Cyber Stein. Now, I expect Cyber Stein to get hit this next ban list, so until it gets hit, I want to make a video about it, because this card needs to get hit. Uh, basically, Cyber Stein is a monster that's really, in the past, had trouble because life cost zero, the skill, used to have it where you could use its effect, at, you could pay infinitely, so you basically would summon Gowling Dragon, pop your opponent's monsters, pop itself, summon another, keep spamming out fusion monsters until you win. It was very consistent, very easy to do. Uh, nowadays, you prefer to go first, you can go second, this deck is very interesting and has a lot more strength now uh, because of Dark Calvary, because Dark Calvary basically gives you uh, target protection so you can protect your Ojama King from getting disrupted. Okay, so the whole deck is pretty straightforward. Extra deck is more, more of a toolbox. So you basically have three Cybersteins, pay 5,000 life points, summon a fusion monster from your extra deck, and then you can use your skill, life cost zero. If your, when your life points are 1,000 or below, you can not pay a cost once. So basically you use Cybersteins' ability to summon a second fusion, so you have two fusions on your board, and you try to win with those two. Uh, besides that, you have Into the Void, which lets you draw a card if you have three or more cards in your hand. And in your end phase, you discard all your cards. It basically helps you draw into your pieces, because you need to open with Cyberstein. And you need two healing cards to get your life points over 5,000. So besides that, we have one Hey Trunade to pop some back row, so if we go second, we don't just have our guy flip down or destroyed. Uh, it doesn't kill up too often, but it's there. You will lose sometimes going second. And this deck sometimes will break. That is how the deck works, but it's consistent enough where it's a problem. Dian Keto, gain a thousand. Let's go over the heal cards. Uh, Goblin Secret Remedy, 600. Solo Pier, 800. And then Goblin Thief, you gain 500, they lose 500. So it helps you get your limit OTK range for your Dark Calvary, which is a safer option to pick. Uh, besides that, you're running two Magical Mallets, it makes you go minus one, but you really need your Cyberstein, so it's worth running these in your deck. Uh, besides that, we have just basically our Fusion Toolbox, which is one Cyber and Dragon, does piercing, 4,000 damage, so you can lock up their board, summon a 4k beater, and try to swing for game. Not as much protection from back row, but it gives you lethal if they have nothing that you have to worry about. Uh, one Dark Calvary gives you protection because you can discard a card from your hand to negate targeting. It gains attack for every spell and trap on the field in the graveyard, so every time you use one of your spells, he gets bigger. Very, very useful. Plus, he is piercing, so if they try to, if you don't get your uh, Ojama King, they try to protect themselves, you can attack over it. Uh, next one, I'm running this one. I haven't seen anyone else running this one, which is uh, the Melodious Maestra uh, Scroberta. Uh, basically, I, I put this card in because if you're reversing a deck and you go second, that's very graveyard heavy and they have like double kite roid, bacon saver. Uh, you can summon this, banish those three, gain attack for each one, and they're not problems, so you can go into other cards to do more damage or try to go for the win. Uh, I'm running Ojama King. This is standard for all Cyberstein decks. Three monster zones removes your opponent from being able to use up to three monster zones. So basically you lock them out using monsters until they deal with this guy. Uh, that's why you have your Dark Calvary to protect him because if they Kadadia him face down, uh, his effect turns off. Uh, besides that, I'm running Gatling Dragon. Uh, he's not going to come up too often. Uh, he used to be running the old uh, Cyberstein versions. But Gatling Dragon, basically, you flip, up, uh, flip through coins and you must pop that many monsters. So if they have one monster, you flip three heads. You're popping him. Cyberstein and Gatling Dragon, you don't have a choice, but it comes up pretty well. If they have three monsters, safest effect you can pick, uh, especially if they're all in defense or if they like trap monsters or something. It comes up, but not, not too often. Besides that, we have Barbaroid, the ultimate battle machine. Basically, this guy um, can attack directly, 4,000 attack, can attack up to two monsters, and every time he destroys the opponent's monster by battle, inflict a thousand damage. So basically he's a big guy that can attack over monsters for a lot of damage. So you swing over two blue eyes white dragons, that is game. Alright, that's pretty simple. The deck is pretty simple. Let's go check out the gameplay. Yeah, they need to ban this deck. 
or at least limit Cyberstein to one. That'd be the easiest way to have it where it's still playable, like Exodia, but not like too dominant. I don't think it's too dominant right now, but it's, it, has, it pops up enough and it's consistent enough where it's a really annoying to handle. Balance. If you are do my turn from my hand. So we're gonna send everything back. If you really wanna draw it. <laughs> One, two, three. Uh hopefully we draw it now. From my hand. Draw! There we go. <laughs> Look at that. Oh no. Poor enemy. From my hand. I activate a spell. Get your life points above five thousand. Can't be at 5,000, unfortunately. Oh, well, actually, it's pretty good because you don't. We don't want this deck being good, but it's it's good. I summon Ojama King, and I prevent you from using anything. But we're more worried about traps right now, so we're gonna summon our uh, Crystal Turn One. We want to get set up protection. So we are going to go for, for uh, Dark Calvary instead of any other option, because he's, he's the safest pick. And we end turn. And so if he sets like Kanadia, uh, then we draw anything, we can negate it before he can do anything. Ooh, Dark Magical Circle. So we're more worried, I think, about... Um, from this this deck, we're probably more worried about Treacherous Trapple. So we want to keep make sure we have negation. Ah, there we go. Locked out. Nothing you can do. Fiend. What the f Time limit win? Let's, uh, let's win with this fake fusion deck. Because we're not fusion summoning our monsters, we're just summon throwing them out. We're throwing out fusion monsters. Alexis Rhodes versus Esparoba. Master rights 2, so protection for targeting. Ooh. Oh, really? You fool. You are such a fool. Let's see, so I can heal twice. Uh, yeah, we'll just do that. We'll just do Dark Calvary and have double protection. Normal summon. Cyber Stein. Fiend! <laughs> you cannot handle the Stein. Yeah, this is one deck I hit, uh, I king of games with this deck back when it was, uh, the life cost zero was summoned as, used as many times as you want, the effect of the turn. And the cool thing is it worked for your opponent's turn too, so you could use, um, negation, uh, like solid scolding for negating their effects. The start, step right up to get smacked. And you you would use it to get your life points that low too. You didn't really care about getting your life points up. You'd only try to get them down. Into the void. Drop. Uh magical mallet. Yes, yes, and yes. Draw three. Rock, come on. Cyber Stein! There we go. Look at that! That's not fair at all. <laughs> Goblin Thief. And then Cyber Stein. And we will have 100 life points. This is where we reverse that Odeon deck that does 200 damage per trap. And just lose. Ujama, ka king. I special summon a monster. A fellow king, I see. I love Ujamas. I I kind of wish Konami would make more Ujama fusions. 
I mean, they don't need to be as oppressive as these, but like in the TCG and OCG, they should make some more. Let's see, so I'm thinking Dark Calvary, who won't do anything on his turn, but if he has any trap cards that will affect me, he'll do stuff. Fear. From my hand, I activate a spell. And he discarded some more Thunder Dragons. I don't know what he can do. My monstrous effect activates. Because he can't summon anything right now. From my hand, I wow, he's really going to that deck. Trichodia? Whoa. Impossible defeating you. <laughs> GG, he had three of those in his hand. Woo! That, that shows the power there. Cool. Yeah, this deck hurts everyone. Not a fun deck to play. Nor verse. There's, there's, some, there's some fun to it, but... Less interactivity, but really not that fun. That is really not that fun, sorry. I'm stuttering still. Okay, so... Into the wood. Cool. Ah, uh, I guess we said that. Oh, let's do another one. We can draw a healing spell. Oh, or a Cyberstein. So we go for normal board. Ojama King. Get the fellow king out here. He is the king of Ojamas. I am the character of the kings. King of the characters. <laughs> Same thing. I, know, I like the I like the name Character King. This came up with um it's the most generic yet unique thing at the same time. Don't ever use a character as a name. There we go. Locked out and win. Easy wins. These games are so fast. Escape. Right, let's see who our opponent today will be. I kind of want to go second so I can show more going second gameplay. Since going first is just normal lock and win. <laughs> going second has a little more interaction. Ooh, hello Red Eyes Matt. I'll take it's my turn. We need a Cyberstein. Or a Mallet. Or into the void. I end my turn. My Ooh. Turn. You would leave your board empty. And I get four, so that's really good. It's like a new hand. Ta-da. What? What? Enter. My turn. <laughs> I end my turn. <sighs> I draw. We didn't draw perfectly. <laughs> nah, this happens. Yeah, my bet paid off. My bet paid off. From my hand, I activate. Black wings. Oh, I'm just gonna surrender. <laughs> Not even worth it. Alright, let's go. Whoo! We wanna get some second going yeah, we want some second going yeah. We want some going second gameplay. So we can show this deck has more of the interactiveness to the deck. He's going for going first the end. Going first you don't have too much. With my my turn! Draw. Good. Draw. <laughs> you can close your eyes and play, just, you know, heal. Heal. 
Cyberstein. Activate Effect. Summon Ojama King. Lock his field. Activate skill. Ooh. Use Cyberstein. Summon out Dark Calvary for protection. Since we use Into the Void, Goblin Remedy, because why not? I feel. Your move. <laughs> Break my board. <laughs> Nobody runs Offering to the Dooms anymore, so. Good luck trying to beat me with a trap. I set a car. Let's see what you can do. I end my turn. This isn't going to plan. Draw. I draw. Change to defense. Battle. <laughs> Let's battle. Do we have lethal? Direct attack. There's still hope for me. Right, get key break. Activate my trap car. Negation. Does he have another one? Nope. Game. <laughs> there, there you go. Like that. That's how this deck works. It's just, do I win? Yes. No. Okay. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. It's. We share time and space. They need to hit this deck. It's, Reduce Cybersign to 1, so it's not consistent enough, but you can still play it. It's just, they, just, they just need to put it... Or limit, to, limit it to 2. Come on, second. <laughs> Going first gameplay is very straightforward. You either get your lock or you don't. Or you were sure knew and they use Gold Sark to banish Spirit Master and pop your Pajama King. And then you cry. <laughs> Okay. So we're going second. My hand, I activate a continuous spell. All right. Roman guard. I, I don't know how we do against this. I set this card. Face my it's turn my is turn. done. You know, somebody should probably like make a aroma exactly what I was waiting. Cyberstein deck. I That'd be interesting. Because they can like manipulate their field a lot. He's had a few more bricks and you're fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just gonna oh magical melt everything. I activate a spell. From the void. I activate a spell. Into the void. We have another magical mallet. There we go. From my hand, I activate a spell. Ugh. It's not over exactly what I was waiting for. I expected to do that. My monster's effect activates. From my hand, I activate a spell. Okay, so I th actually let me, let me leave this up. Um, my points have to be lower to special summon. And then you can gain a thousand when opponent's monster declares in the Oh no. Oh, you need no more special summon. Uh, care to use that effect. So whatever this other face down is, I'm worried about, but... Cool. I know what I want to do. I summon a monster in attack. I activate my... Some Cyberstein. I think we want target protection right now. So I think we want to go... Barbaros. And protection, so... Calvary. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna win this turn, so we don't care about the guard in our hand. My ESP. I activate my monster's effect. There we go. Barbaroid. Special summon a monster. <laughs> Let's battle. And we swing for 5k? <laughs> Oh, actually, 4,900. I attack with my monster! Hey, there we go! I can still turn this 
monsters to you. I activate my monsters effect. Is that it? <laughs> I can't attack yet, looks like game. Come on. Come on! <laughs> Let Barbaroi be your defeat! Come on. Ah! Now, oh, there we go. My monster's effect activates. Still try to heal for a thousand. Burn first! I'm Burn but first! You. Burn first! Yes! Let's gonna gain 500. GG, let's go! <laughs> Barbaroid, Barbaroid. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you liked the video. And let me know what other kind of fusion related video you would like to see in the future. Uh, keep fusioning fusioners. And let's go Slash!